This weekend is all about love and football, of course, and your movies can be about those themes too. Entertainment reporter Kelly Gillespie sharing films to stream with your Valentine, and then there's a Super Bowl coach with a true story twist. I'm excited for that. Good morning, Kelly. Good morning. That's right, Nana. Okay, Kevin James, he steps into New Orleans Saints coach Sean Payton's shoes for this comedy that the whole family can enjoy. It's called Home Team. Um, but first, you know, very funny duo, Charlie Day and Jenny Slate, they deliver laughs in this rom-com, I Want You Back, which also stars Scott Eastwood, who lived in San Diego for a while and, of course, had to talk about his time in our America's finest city. Uh, and then a book-turned-movie. This is the anticipation anticipated the sky is everything where it explores how grief and love can share the same melody he was the love of my life and is the love of mine but i'm not so sure that they're gonna realize it not with these shiny new people around so what are we supposed to do I have to break them up. There's lots of talk about your character being in a rut and that he's not spontaneous. Is that something you share with your character? I mean, it's certainly things I think people can relate to. Peter, he's taken this job and it's not what he wanted to do. It's in the arena of what he wants to do, but it's just very safe job and he's making steady money and it's a scary thing to, to walk away from that. And then he actually has to learn to take those risks and be more spontaneous. And is it like me? I don't know. I, I think I, I, I can relate to it at times, but I think I fall somewhere in between. What you're supposed to be doing at what age, right? Like, is this is where I should have my career. This is where I should be married. Is that something that you ever get caught up in? That seems to be something I've learned as I've progressed more in my life um, uh, into being alive, AKA aging. And um, that I'm like, oh man, I wish back then I had just been way more focused on like, who am I really when I'm at my best? You know, like what what is that? What is that goal there rather than like, oh man, you know, so-and-so was in this many movies by this age. Yeah, just appreciate I, yeah. the moment. You gotta be in the moment. Yes. Noah is into health and fitness. He's a personal trainer. San Diego being such a great outdoor adventurous place. What are some of the things that you enjoy? I used to live in San Diego for many years. Uh, and it's a great city. A lot of outdoor activities, a lot of water sports, a lot of ocean activity. Don't think it's possible to get it, unless you're in it like we are. Lenny has just lost her sister, who is her best friend. She's grappling with that idea of grief and what that feels like. I, I was able to tap into that grief and that sorrow, but also I think I kind of liked to imagine, you know, because Bailey and Lenny were best friends, like Bailey kind of being like this, this like, you know, guardian angel like figure for Lenny, who's like guiding her in the right direction and, you know, wants her to be happy. Just remember that life is a celebration. Uh, and I think that's where like the kind of hopeful element uh, plays into it all. He plays guitar in the film. You play it in real life. And talk to me about how oh, this song you play for Lenny came about. What I, I love about the discipline of music is is that it's a it's a very personal exploration in, in discovering new languages of love for me and I've treated it mostly as a diary my entire life and so it's something that I can really tap into with Joe especially when it turns out that like a cornerstone of the the romantic arc of their entire relationship hinges on music you're only here because you got suspended being Sean Payton's son ain't easy. So you're a sports fan. I know you even played football in college. So getting to step into Sean Payton's shoes, what was that like? And kind of what conversations did you have with him? I had a lot of conversations about, you know, about different things about how he runs a team, how he runs, you know, how he interacts with his family, how it was all over the map because I wanted to find out all the information that, and anything that he said I could bring to, you know, try to bring an angle to this movie. You start talking to them and you realize, wow, this is how they got there. This is why they're there. And so smart being able to see behind the curtain when we were at the uh, the Saints facility and he was walking around the offices. Taylor was there with me. We, you see it was during the draft and you just see all the decision making that has to go on and like, Man, this guy's a real leader. You can just see that. I was very thankful to be able to, to play him and have a full head of hair. Uh, home team looks so fun and what a good dad movie, right? About an awesome true story too, especially for Super Bowl weekend. Kelly, I love that one.
I, I couldn't agree with you more. It was so funny too, because Kevin James was joking about how he's the only one rehearsing and he's having trouble memorizing his lines. But yes, all these, you know, kids are just nailing it on the first try, but definite great dad move for sure. Spending more time with your kids, you can never go wrong. Mm -hmm. Plus you're right. There's just so many great Valentine options to stream this weekend, whether you're with a loved one or you're just spending quality time with your friends. Kelly, I love it. Thank you so much. And rehearsing lines is hard, which is why we go <laughs> off the cuff all the time. <laughs> good to see you this morning. Have a good weekend. Thanks,